hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another exciting tutorial so this will be a continuation of our tutorial on Microsoft Azure tutorial for beginners so in our previous tutorial we spoke about uh, cloud basics like uh, the fundamentals of cloud computing and this will be a continuation where we are talking about Microsoft Azure so you know what uh, we will be covering in these tutorials like this will be a series of tutorial we'll be talking about the cloud fundamentals so uh, basically you know what our tutorial will be focused on uh, two uh, topics uh, about the azure certifications so we will try to cover most of all the topics which is required for these certifications well, uh, the first one is like az 900 microsoft azure fundamentals and the next one is like az 104 microsoft azure administrator so we'll try to cover all these uh, topics necessary for both these certification uh, in our complete course. So, you know, I, I will start with this tutorial where we'll be talking about how to create Microsoft Azure account. And we'll also talk about the billing, uh, how to control the billing and what are the different kind of services which Microsoft Azure offers. And also, you know, uh, you know how what are the free services which you can uh, get it after your free subscription is over. So all those things we will see. So before I get into the actual uh, discussions, I would just want to give you a recap on or just give you highlights on, you know, what we are going to do in this tutorial, then we'll uh, get started. So what we will do as part of this uh, cloud in Azure cloud introduction tutorial, like as I mentioned, like we will see uh, how you can create a Azure account. So if you don't have a cloud account, you have to create a Microsoft Azure account. So we will see how you can create a free account where which you will get uh, 30 days of uh, budget, you know, uh, and you can make use of that for your, you uh, know different kind of uh, services which you can create and also we will talk about what is the difference between a free subscription and also you know pay as you go subscription and you know after you know uh, you know once your free subscription is over you'll have to convert it to pay as you go as well so uh, when we see about this free subscription there are some restrictions like you know you can make use of you know uh, some of the you know services in free subscription some you cannot do it so all those things we will talk and also different kind of services which are available also like even after your free subscription is over like 30 days there are some of our services which are always free and some are like you know you can make use of it for 12 months so we'll see about those also and you know what you do after 30 days of free subscription is expired like you know once your free subscription is expired you need to convert your uh, you know, account into a pay as you go otherwise your account will not be you know accessible after that because you will not get the benefit so you have around 30 days after your subscription is expired so you need to upgrade as free you know pay as you go and we'll also like you know once you get into this pay as you go you also need to keep a track of your expenditure so you you can we'll talk about how you to you can create a billing alerts so that should be your base like you know you uh, get some alerts once you uh, get crossing uh, some amount of usage so that also we will see how you can do it in this tutorial so i will also write to, like to request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button and also like my videos share and also give your feedback so that you know i can uh, take those notes and you know we work together collaboratively to achieve our goals so in order to create a, a Microsoft Azure account, uh, you know, you can just uh, go to this page or you can just search in Google. So you can search in uh, Google like Azure free account. So if you just click on it, it will take you to this page like azure.microsoft.com uh, en uh, free. So this will be, you know, the link. So I will uh, give this link into the video description. So you can see it has taken to this page where it talks about, you know, once you start with, uh, you know, the 30 days trial or 30 days free subscription, you get a $200, uh, you know, uh, credit. So you can use that for uh, making use of creating a lot of services, which is actually cost. So you can use this budget in, within that 30 days. Okay. So you can read through this, uh, you know, different uh, other services as well. So what you need to do is like, you know, you have two options, start free or uh, start as a pay as you go. 
so i would suggest like since you are learning azure you can just uh, go with start free okay so you can create a free uh, account and you can use that for uh, logging into the microsoft uh, azure uh, cloud so if you see like it will ask you to sign in so if you already have a microsoft uh, live account uh, email address like uh, you know, for my case i already have a live dot uh, com uh, microsoft account i will log in with that if you don't have it you can click on create new one and you can use your gmail account or some other email address and you can create uh, a new microsoft account so once you click on the, giving your email address so since i already created i'm not following this so, but i'll tell you what you have to do so once you click give this email address and click on next it will uh, send you uh, a screen where you'll uh, send a code to your email address then you'll have to enter that and also you'll have to give the whole information of your uh, details like your name your uh, address and all those things and you also need to verify yourself for using your phone number and also you have to give your credit card details so previously i think microsoft azure and other cloud vendors were not uh, specifically asking for credit card uh, you know but now they want to uh, attach your account with a credit card so that they can verify so it, uh, people don't misuse you know uh, this cloud uh, using some bots or something so you need to uh, attach uh, you know or, or verify or give the payment details using your credit card account even though you know, it's not going to charge anything they just want to verify yourself so maybe in future you know if you are using uh, more than uh, the free services or something then you'll be getting a bill uh, which will be mapped to your account so but don't worry it's, it's all just only a registration purpose so you just give the account just click on it and verify it. if you don't do that what will happen is your uh, subscription will not be accessible so you cannot create any services uh, or resources in that you uh, you know uh, login so since I already have uh, an Azure account, so if I go to portal.azure.com, you just log in with your uh, account, so you'll be getting into this home screen. So here, if you see, like, you know, you can see, like, different Azure services, like subscription, uh, cost management, all resources, load balancers, right, virtual machines, and all those things. And on the top, you can see, like, we have uh, Azure Cloud Shell. This is the Cloud Shell. And also you have directories and subscriptions, then you have notifications. So the notification is the place where you'll be notified your uh, free subscription is going to get expired or you have a $200 uh, off you know, uh, credit, which you can make use of it. And you have settings, you know, you have help and also you have the feedback options. Now here, if you see, you can uh, get uh, create resources and you will also see the whole, uh, the list of a uh, lot of resources. You can click on all resources also. So it will tell a list of you know the resources which you have already created in my case i don't have any resources created so it does not show up here okay and you can click on here all resources also it will take you to the same screen so uh, you can also see like these are some key uh, resources but if you click on more resources it will list you the whole bunch of resources like what kind of uh, resources available in azure like uh, management groups or resource group or you know computer engines like we have virtual machines you know a function lab you know uh, kubernetes services availability sets or its images so there are different kind of you know uh, services like networking uh, you have all those test storage you have you have web application you have mobile you have containers you have databases you have analytics so you have a bunch of you know resources in azure so you can have a look on all those things and uh, you can uh, create it but you know i would suggest like don't just go and create any of these things because you know uh, cloud is a vast topic if you don't know how to manage it you'll be getting a huge bill at, at, at the end of the month so if you create some virtual machine and if you keep it running then it's going to cost you so you have to be very clear what uh, you need to run what time it should not be running so you can save a lot of cost from it okay and um, uh, i will link this uh, link as well like where we are talking about different kind of services right so basically you know if you go for a 30 days of uh, free subscription and 200 credit you can make use of all the you know services you if you are if it's within that 200 dollar credit but as far as you know uh, if that 30 days is over you need to convert your uh, subscription as a pay as you go so once you convert it what do you get is like you know you have uh, 12 months of uh, services like uh, uh, the virtual machines uh, whether it's a linux or windows you can create b1 
as virtual machine you can create it for 70 750 hours so that means you know it, you cannot create any kind of virtual machine but this specific uh, you know uh, virtual machine uh, configuration you can create it so you need to know what kind of virtual machine is free for the 12 months so you can have a look here like you also have an option for azure manage disk where you can have 264 gb and you have azure blob a storage of 5 gb and you know there are other restrictions as well like uh, file storage you have azure sql database and you know, postgres so these are available for 12 months okay azure vpn gateway load balancers so all information is available in this link so you can have a look on this so what is available once the 30 days is over you can still use it for 12 months and there are also services which are always free so it respect you whether it's 12 months or 30 days uh, these services are always free so you don't have to worry you can use it anytime like cosmos db azure app service functions right and the aks you have also you know azure bot service logical app test lab and you have azure devops which you can use it for t five users actually and uh, we also have azure service fab fabric azure advisor you also have you know azure data factory Qu quite some you know other uh, services also which are completely free uh, you know irrespective of whether it's a free subscription or you know it's uh, after 12 months okay so this this information i will also link it so you can go through it and you have to be very clear when you create any resources okay this belongs to here so i can save some costs or if this configuration is enough for me so you look on that and you create it so now if you come here you know you see like you go to subscriptions you will be able to see your subscription as you know uh, my subscription is uh, you know, uh, it's a new one so I have already upgraded as pay as you go in your case you should be able to see as a free subscription so you can use uh, you know you can you'll be able to see that free subscription and also you'll be able to see what is the current cost attached to it so you know you can get that information as well so whenever you see the subscription it will uh, tell you okay what the subscription you have it if you have some subscriptions you know mo uh, which is not free then you'll be charged based on uh, whether it's a pay as you go or what kind of subscription is that so once your free subscription is over after 30 days you will get a prompt like prompt like you know you have to upgrade it to pay as you go so what you need to do is you just click on uh, pay you know convert it and then you'll have options like the multiple options where you can select you know whether what kind of uh, subscription i want to do because you'll have options like uh, technical or uh, you know where you need to we need to get technical support where you have to pay every month some amount so i would suggest you know if you don't want to have a you know, enterprise kind of support you just select the last one which does not you know does not have any technical support and it does not cost you anything so it will cost you only based on your uh, usage of resources okay so uh, and also you know if i go to my cost management if you see you should be able to see uh, different kind of uh, options here and if i go to my budget so you should be able to create some uh, budget alerts so for my case i create an alert for uh, you know, a budget of 100 do uh, do rupees so if you can uh, create you know you can create a budget and you can give some name you can give a monthly billing period uh, and you also set an amount so what happens is as far as you set this amount and you know if you also have uh, this set alerts option let me create a new one so let me create a new one and the expiry date uh, no somewhere i'll put creation date okay creation date is november and expiry date is 2023 so you should have uh, 16 months uh, 16th of november so that's how it should be so and uh, you give a budget uh, no so i will put uh, maybe 250 yeah then you click on next and then you should have an option to uh, select what type of uh, budget you want so you want to put actual and you uh, know what percentage it has to achieve so if you out of that uh, 250 if you are telling like okay i want to uh, send an alert if it reaches 50 percentage you can put that so that means uh, at uh, 125 dollars it will be creating alert you can give an email address over here and you can just click on create so that will create an alert and you know you should be uh, getting some uh, you know alert um, information once uh, 
that uh, target is achieved so i would recommend you to create an alert so that you know you can keep track of you know what is the uh, cost which is getting incurred to your uh, resources which are getting created now you can see like you know we have quite some resources here now future you know in upcoming tutorials we will see step by step you know what kind of resources we'll be making use of so basically we'll start with uh, virtual machines then we will see like how we can have other uh, resources like web applications and all those things we will see uh, as i said these tutorials which will be focused on each and every uh, topics which is required for az104 and also the az900 fund which is the basics of azure which is the fundamentals course so you can get certified on that as well so this is uh, all i wanted to discuss about in this uh, primary tutorial so as i said this is the basics or getting started tutorial on azure cloud so in the upcoming tutorial we will go in depth on each and every topics required for the certification as well so if you are uh, new to my channel or if you want to watch more videos uh, like this i would request you to subscribe to my channel and also like my videos share and comment Thank you.